السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our night of worship tonight and every one of these nights. Ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala write down, write down our names amongst those who have observed Laylatul Qadr and write it down for us fully. Allahumma ameen. Uh, it's good to see you back, Shaykh Yusuf. MashaAllah, I just noticed, alhamdulillah. May Allah give you full shifa and shifa to all of those that have been ill, uh, Sister Tasneem and all of those that we've mentioned. SubhanAllah, as I was reflecting on this blessing that we have tonight, how many of you saw the images from Masjid Al-Aqsa tonight. 250,000 people, Allahu Akbar, a quarter million people, worshiping Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala in that occupied land. May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala liberate it and allow us all to pray there one night. Allahumma Ameen. And then you see the images that come out of Mecca and you see that there's no space in the Haram. And honestly, if that does not tell you that this Ummah is alive and well, then something is wrong with our hearts. That doesn't mean we don't have problems. That doesn't mean we don't have issues. We have plenty of issues. That doesn't mean that we don't need to be deeply introspective and look at how we clean ourselves up collectively and individually to attain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But that this ummah sometimes sleeps but it doesn't die. And that the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always present in this ummah. I was reading a a quote, subhanAllah, and it was the first time I actually stopped at this for a while. And it's because I was looking into the opinions of the ulama uh, about when Laylatul Qadr is. And there was a powerful quote that I came across from a scholar by the name of Ibn al-Mulaqqin, rahimahullah ta'ala. Imam al-Mulaqqin is uh, one of the greatest scholars of the Shafi'i school. Uh, he's a scholar from Egypt. He is the teacher of Imam Ibn Hajar, rahimahullah ta'ala, the famous author of Al-Fatih al-Bari, and uh, one who explained some of the most important works of Imam al-Nawi, rahimahullah ta'ala. So he's a crucial figure in the school of Imam al-Shafi, rahimahullah ta'ala, and overall in the Islamic tradition. When he was discussing the idea of Laylatul Qadr, he said something, and I'm going to read the quote. He says, أَجْمَعَ مَنْ يُعْتَدُّ بِهِ مِنَ الْعُلَمَاءِ المتقدمين والمتأخرين على أن ليلة القدر باقية دائمة إلى يوم القيامة. I was reading that and I thought to myself, Subhanallah. First time it stuck with me. He said that one thing is for sure, that the scholars have agreed, the early scholars and the later scholars of every generation have this consensus that ليلة القدر will continue to occur every single year until the day of judgment. And I thought to myself, SubhanAllah, <laughs> every generation the Prophet ﷺ mentions departs a little bit further from the foundation. And so the prevalence of corruption becomes greater. And the further you get away from his generation and his companions, alayhi salatu wa salam wa radiallahu anhum, the more that you start to get away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala collectively, but there's always khayr in the ummah, there's always some good, right? There's always some good in it. But the fact that no matter how bad it gets, Allah doesn't take this gift away from us is an actual manifestation of tuhibbu al-afwa. Tuhibbu al-afwa. When we say, Allahumma inna ka'afoon, tuhibbu al-afwa, fa'afu anna, oh Allah, you are al-afu, you are the one who pardons, you love to forgive, you love to pardon, so pardon us. This is actually one of those great manifestations. And if you take that, statement of the consensus of the scholars that Allah never takes away this gift from us of Laylatul Qadr until the day of judgment, no matter how bad we get as an ummah, and you look at all of the other things that Allah does not take away from us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept our tawbah until the sun rises from the other side. Meaning what? That you have a chance collectively to make tawbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the tawbah of each and every single person every individual, until they foam at the mouth at the time of death. The door of tawbah is open. And what that shows you is truly when you say that the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more expansive than all of the sins put together, this is a manifestation of that. No one could impose upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep giving us this gift year in and year out. 
But then that also puts it back in our court. And I wanted to make this very short tonight because obviously it's a night of worship and a night where we can, inshallah ta'ala, reflect and read more and make dua. But say alhamdulillah. Say alhamdulillah. If you are grateful, I will increase you. I want you to take a look around for a moment today and when you feel that closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, say alhamdulillah. I have this faith. Alhamdulillah, Allah Azza wa has guided me to this. Alhamdulillah, Allah has put me here. Alhamdulillah, I have the Quran that I can recite. Alhamdulillah, I have this connection of dua. Alhamdulillah, I have this great season of mercy to seek out every single year. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not taken it away. And do not despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not despair, not for yourself or for this ummah. Truly, subhanAllah, seeing those images of the ummah. That's not a sense of, you know, everything's okay now. We don't have to worry anymore. You know, we, we can now forget about our sins. That is instead a reminder that what is greater than our sins and our collective departure from the message is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that constantly calls us back to that message and opens the door not just for redemption, but for a lifetime of good deeds in one night, which shows you the power of transformation in this deen is unlike anything else. Some of us come in here on this night or whatever night Allah has decreed, and I want you to think about it. Some of us come in here and our sins equal our good deeds. And there are people of Al-A'raf, right? There are people on the Day of Judgment whose sins equal their good deeds. Some of us, may Allah protect us, our sins are actually greater than our good deeds right now. We have voided any good that we may have done in the past by our backbiting, by our gossip, by our departure, our sins, whatever it may be. And in one night, you have a chance to walk out Laylatul Qadri Khayru Min Alfi Shahar. And you just deposit a lifetime of good deeds into your bank account. That's in one night, if you do it right. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us, whether it is tonight or any other night. May Allah forgive us for our shortcomings at all times. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uplift not just ourselves, but uplift our entire ummah. Allahumma ameen. Jazakum Allah khayru. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.